Okay, so we're going to talk about web framework. A web framework is simply a software that is designed to support the development of web applications. So that means uh, it's kind of a software that helps you to rapid, rapidly develop application. Imagine you want to develop a, a web app with a programming language, you have to define several utilities, functions that will be used in developing that app of frameworks makes it easy because most of the functions or features you will need to create such a web app is already available. So here, Wikipedia defined the web framework, the software framework that is designed to support the development of web framework, including web services, resources, and API. So it provides the standards way to build and deploy web applications on the World Wide Web. And we have some list of web framework, web application development framework developed or created in Python. And the most popular, you have this Django, you have Flux and others. And if you scroll down from this link, you see other web application development framework created in Python. But such a disappointment, we could not find Frappe here, but take note that Frappe is the most advanced Python-based web application development that comes with all libraries you need to start an app with no external support. So um, what is Frappe? And here from the website frappeframework.com, which you can find the documentation and few tutorials about it, it says it's an open source meta driven full stack framework in Python and JavaScript. It comes with admin UI rules, permissions. Um, if you have worked with Django, you know Django comes with what is called the Django admin that has this prod create, retrieve, update, delete interface that can be used to manage the site quickly after um, creation, uh, creating your first app. Okay, um, Frappe also gives the same feature, but has more advanced feature. And you have what is called battery included. So battery included means that it comes with several features that is inbuilt into the Frappe framework. You have metadata. This, this metadata is called, um, it's called doc type and Using, for example, in Django, you have what is called models. So your model is called doc type in Frappe, and the admin manager rules and permission to give um, permission or rule to a users, limiting them or granting them access to a certain part of the system. Then extensible means that you can easily create an app and add into the Frappe framework. Here yeah, we're talking about web API rest with it it's very easy to create apis in frappe um for example if you work with django you notice you use a framework like a django rest framework to create apis but here everything is built as an api by default and the web books are these are events that happen during some certain communications in the system for example when you save submit a document delete a document those are events and you can easily plug into Frappe to execute some command when an event occurs. Um, in Django, we have what we call hook. Um, sorry, we have what we call post save signals. So that's what web hook also stands for here. Job scheduler is what kind of more like ready. It helps you to execute some tasks at certain time defined by the user. And sockets um, has to do with working with Node.js and a background communication between the front end and the back end. And email setup already has an input email notification system. Then this multi tenants means that you can use this framework to create as many sites as possible or as the system can support. So here we come down. We have what we call rapid application development. Frappe is built to rapidly develop applications with little to no efforts so if you're familiar with django as i said earlier you observe this this is called objects orm objects relational mapper that helps you communicate to the database without writing much or without writing an sql statement but take note that you can communicate with your sql directly in frappe i have a form builder a crowd system from the admin 
that easily helps you create documents and also helps you in building your doc type or building your models um five base routing um background jobs to do things on the background and the rest api as we talked earlier so to learn more about frappy you can visit this website here frappyframework.com and straight into the documentation to read more about it and at the same time can also check through to the tutorials to see how to create apps quickly on the system so we'll quickly talk about the architecture of Ruby Framework is West Brief and it includes all the tools needed to deploy a site into production, the database, kitchen background, jobs, real time notification, and several others. And we know a head start that this is created using Python. So we're going to be working with Python. And this is the architecture in which it is built, meaning that in the frameworks folder or directory we'll be working with, we'll have a folder for holding the sites. That since it's a multi tenant system, you can have several sites in it. Then you have several apps in the framework, or oh, sorry, in your direct working directory. Here we we'll call it a bench. The bench is a uh, working directory or working folder for each application. That's what the bench starts for. Then we have these um, other tools or utilities we use the Node.js the works up for the server, the Redis for communication and background jobs, and the virtual environment that holds uh, installed the libraries and the Python version we'll be using to work. And the database supported is Maria database, that's MySQL and Postgres. So that's, should it, that's it for the now. So you, you can visit this link and read more about frappy framework thank you we'll continue in the next to see how we can store this frappy framework